I resisted. I resisted getting the Samsung One UI when it came out on beta. I thought, let's rather wait. I mean, beta software typically is glitchy. It's got some features missing. So what's the point of getting into it only to have those fixed later on? Well, I waited. I waited and it officially was released. And guess what? It's glitchy and these features missing. So before you go ahead and press that update button, here are a bunch of stuff that might affect whether you might actually want to press that update button right now or wait for Samsung to release an update. Let's get into it. Okay, let's begin in the one that you'll use quite often. That's the recently used applications. In the Samsung One UI, your choice is basically left to right or right to left. That's it. If you go into the settings here, it actually isn't the settings for this. It's the settings for your search. Yeah, pretty much that's it. There's no list view. There's no grid view. There is nothing. This is it. All right, let's bring out 8.0 Android and let's see what that looks like. Go into your recently used applications and there we go. Okay, I actually like this kind of card system. Go into the options and you can change it to list view if that's what you want to do. It just gives you some options. Now, even Android 7.0 still have that ability to have that facility. Why it was taken away, I don't know. Alrighty, next up, camera. Okay, first thing you'll notice is there's only one button here to take a photo. There isn't a button for video. If you want to go to video, you've got to change your modes. Now, there's also a bit of a lag between changing modes from video to photos. You can see that. Look at that photo video there's a lag there now for some people this could be a deal breaker people like to have the option of having video and photo at very very easy to use right next to each other let's bring out android 8.0 and there it is two buttons right next to each other where they should be we've had it since previous version even in android 7.0 it's there okay another camera one well when you're in the camera you can press on the screen and you can pinch to zoom or use the slider to zoom in and zoom out now the same thing will apply in video as well pinch and then use the little slider but look what happens with my fat fingers i tend to not just slide but actually change the video mode at the same time and i've done this on so many occasions so i'm not sure why they got rid of the shutter zoom facility that we had in previous versions let me show you what that looks like in case you didn't know or you forgot Right, Android 8.0, there it is. There's a shutter release button and look at that. Slide left and slide right, slide left, slide right and you can zoom in and out. And the cool thing is, it also works on video at the same time. So it was nice, you didn't touch the screen and kept bouncing it and distorting your picture. Okay, another camera one. Go into pro mode and on pro mode on the One UI, You've got lots of options to play with. The interface is pretty cool. You can make all your changes and snap your photos. Perfect. So what's the problem? The problem is that you cannot shoot video in pro mode. In other words, you can't make these kind of changes as you could on Android 8.0 shooting video in pro mode. Why was that removed on the One UI? This is very confusing. The facilities are all there. So being able to shoot in video should be no problem. And in fact, if you go back to Android 7.0, you still have that facility. So let's go to Pro Mode, Video, and there we go. And I can still make changes. Now, I realize not everybody wants promo video footage, but if we had that facility in previous versions, surely the advanced ones would have it. Okay, we've got to talk about Bixby. Now, some people don't like it. I actually don't mind Bixby. There's a card up here for previous video I've done on it. The problem with this one is that it's mapped to a physical button and with a single touch, it fires it up. Now, I've accidentally touched that button many times because it's just under the rocker button. So easy to do. You cannot disable it, but there's a slight fix for it. Go into settings, go down, and then instead of choosing a single tap, you choose a double tap. So this is what it looks like now for the volume button. And then you by mistake, press it, nothing happens. Press it, happens. Okay, double press it. And then there we go. Bixby has been fired up. So some of you might think the stuff is okay. It um, doesn't impact your life too much. You're not into pro mode and that's perfectly fine. Hit the update button and absolutely love the new One UI. Perfectly fine. All we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for Samsung to please push out some updates and fix those things. Good thing is it's software related and software can be fixed over the air versus hardware, which of course 
needs another device. Speaking of another device, we cannot wait for the S10. Are you guys excited for the S10? Let me know in the comments below. Now, these are just some of my personal takes on the One UI. It's what I found from my experience. I'm not going to be able to cover absolutely everything because everybody experiences their phones differently. If you've got something that you're not too happy with, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. Really appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out here. Hit the subscribe button, this little head below, if you're new here and you like this kind of stuff. Check out some of these other cool videos and I'll see you guys on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.